Hi, I'm Ann Poole. Welcome to adding a calendar to your website. This is the fourth in my series of videos that will show you one way that a small library with limited resources can help make ebooks available to its community. In this video, I'll show you how to add a Google Calendar to a website that's been created using Blogger. But you can add the calendar to any website if you're not using Blogger. The first thing to do is to get the code that makes your calendar display. Then we'll copy that code onto your library website. Start by going to Google Calendar and sign in if you need to. Then on the left side of the page, click the little triangle to the right of your calendar. In the pop-up window that appears, click on Calendar Settings. On the Settings page, you'll see an Embed This Calendar section. It has a box with some code in it that you can copy and paste onto your website. However, we want to customize the calendar a bit first. So click on the Customize the Color, Size, and Other Options link. The Customization page will open in a separate browser window. Here's what the calendar looks like at first, before you customize it. Here you can see that I've changed the look of the calendar quite a bit. I gave it a more informative title and turned some of the features off. I changed the default view to Agenda to make it list the promotions available each day. Then I shrunk the whole thing down from 800 by 600 to 250 by 300 so it will fit in a small space. When you're done customizing, click the Update HTML button so the code in the box updates. Then copy everything that's in the box below the button. I like to paste it into Notepad so it's handy. Now you'll add the calendar to your website. First log into Blogger and go to your blog. From there, click the Layout link. Then click one of the Add a Gadget links in the part of the page where you'd like to put the calendar. I'm putting mine on the right side of the page near the top, but you can put it anywhere you like. After you click on Add a Gadget, a pop-up window will appear. Go through the list and find the HTML JavaScript gadget. Click on the link for it. Here's what you'll see next. Fill in a title for your calendar. If you want to say a few words about it before showing it, type that in the content box. Then go down a line or two and paste in all the code that you copied from Google Calendar. Don't worry if you don't understand anything you just pasted in. You don't have to understand it to be able to use it. When you're done, click Save. One last thing, click on Save Arrangement on the layout page. Here's what part of my own website's home page looks like with the calendar added. Don't forget to add a post promoting the new feature and announce it in any other ways you can as well. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to contact me with any questions or feedback. Here you have my email address and LinkedIn profile. I've also provided a link to the church library website I've created so you can see how it looks. And I take requests if there's something else you'd like me to do a video on. And yes, Girl with Squirrel in my YouTube channel name is short for the girl with the squirrel tattoo. Ask me about it.